Hi and welcome to my Go Animate Cool Moves tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Cool Moves file to create a prop and I'll show you how to import that prop into Go Animate. As you can see I've opened up Cool Moves and what we're going to do is set everything up and create a template that you can save out and use as the basis for all your future props. So the first thing you need to do to set up your file is set the movie width and height. The Go Animate stage is 550 pixels wide by 360 pixels high. So do that first. And as you can see that white rectangle there represents the stage. The next thing you need to do is go back into the movie menu and set the movie speed. Go animate movies run at 24 frames per second so set that to 24. We'll go OK to that. The particular um, top level scene that you're editing on should only have one frame in it, so you'll need to go down to the tweens menu here and change that to zero tweens. And the next thing you'll need to do is go into the file menu and just check the export settings. In the export settings you should check that the export SWF as version is Action Script 3.0 or better. If it's set to Action Script 1.0, you may encounter problems when you actually import files, your files into GoAnimate. So make sure that's set to 3. Once you've done that, OK it. Now, if, if you're just making props, that would be pretty much all you need to do and you could start making your props directly on the stage but what I'm going to do is show you how to set up this file for making characters and that's the kind of characters that you see in the community characters tab of GoAnimate bearing in mind that you can't actually create community characters at the moment unless you're a better user but if GoAnimate decides to allow everyone to upload their own community characters, um, you'll have your characters that you're uploading as props already in the right format to upload them as characters. The final steps you need to do in order to make this a character file, which you can u then use for both characters and props, is to go into the movie overview and rename your movie by left or right clicking on it and you need to call it the char. Now for a character file this definitely has to only have one frame in it so don't do any animation on this level. What you, you need to do is go into the objects menu and select add movie clip. What that will do is take you inside a movie clip file. And you just imagine this as being a movie clip inside of a movie clip. Uh, this little crosshair is the center point on your canvas and you just use it as a guide for animating but for now uh, we don't need to worry about it. The next thing we need to do is we're going to create just an object in here so that your movie clip has something in it. So I'm going to go in, draw a square. See my square has a white fill, a black outline that is two pixels thick because this is your 
width of your outlines. I'm going to draw a square, like so. And then I'm going to put some text on, and I think you should probably do this too. So we'll click some text, and what our text is going to say is, Oops, remember to center your props and characters before exporting to go animate. And that, that's going to be a little reminder for you, and I'll explain why that's important later. So I'll just use the selection tool to move that underneath my square. I might just change the fill on my square by selecting the properties palette. This is the properties for my square change it to something like a grey. Now we're going to go back to the main movie and you'll see we're back in the main movie and this is the movie clip that we just made. You can see I can select that and move it around on the stage but when you're creating a prop or a character you need to center your prop over this corner of the stage like so. And why that is important is because once you import this prop into GoAnimate if you flip it and it's not centered in GoAnimate you'll see your prop flip probably over to the other side of the stage or at least quite a distance. Whereas if you center it on this point, when you flip it, it'll flip on the spot. So always remember to center your props and characters before you export them. And to get back into this movie clip, you just select it and select the properties palette again. And then go into the... You just click the frames button. And that'll take us back inside here. The reason why I did that is for props that aren't animated, these should also only have one frame, so change the tweens down here to zero. I'll show you, talk to you about tweens in a future tutorial. Go back to the main movie, rename our movie clip. And that movie clip also has to be called the char, otherwise your character won't work. Um, it's not critical if you miss that at this stage because uh, you can't actually import characters, but once you can, you need that to be renamed as the char so that uh, your character files are set up correctly. That's our template file completely finished, so we need to save it. We'll do save as, I'll call it go animate template. And I'll save that. Now, whenever you create a character, you just open that file, go into the movie clip, like so. Delete everything you have there and start drawing your prop or your character. So finally what we're going to do is export this file just to show you how to take it into GoAnimate. So to export a file you go into the file menu, you go into export publish movie and you export it as SWF flash movie you'll see it all automatically gets the name of whatever you saved it with dot .swf on it. So I'm just going to leave that, but you should rename it to 
whatever you think is appropriate and go save. Now I'm going to swap into Go Animate. Here you can see I'm in the studio now and I've already got a um, background set up and I'm ready to go. To import your prop, you just click this import button up the top here. Select the flash animations tab and then browse for your file on the computer. There's my file there, so I just select that and go open. And then click the upload button. Now depending on what you're making, if generally you'll probably upload it as an other prop or anything that you're uploading as a character or a background prop. If you're making a background, then you'd upload it as a background. If you are able to upload characters, then you would select character action, but the time of this tutorial only better users have that option and if you're doing it as an effects you'd upload it as an effect and if you're doing it as a hand prop you would upload it as a hand prop but for hand props bear in mind that you can't create hand props for comedy world characters or little peeps characters because I don't think custom hand props will work for now I'm going to upload this as an other prop. Uh, you can rename it or give it some tags if you want. I'm just going to call it template, put template as a tag. If you want to make it public, leave that ticked. If you don't, untick it. Click upload and you'll see it's successful. So I'll close this and you'll see my prop is just there in with my other custom props which are currently loading in at the moment and you'll see them appear in this area of other props there we go so it's uploading it's the first prop there what I'll do is I'll clear away this background like so now I'll drag my prop over onto the screen and there it is there and you'll notice if I flip this, it stays nice and central because we sent it. So there you go, that's how to set up your template file in Cool Moves for making props that you want to export to Go Animate and how you go about importing your files into Go Animate.